Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to password protect and encrypt an Excel worksheet that you've got here. Now this is important especially if you're storing passwords on your computer. There's a few different ways people will track their passwords and there's password managers online which I don't like because that's a gold mine for any hacker. All they have to do is hack one of those password manager sites and then they have access to everyone's account with all of their passwords for all their various accounts and it's just a gold mine for hackers. So that's a huge target. I wouldn't want to store my passwords there. The other way is storing it on a piece of paper, uh, just in a little printout, a book, a journal. Uh, there's some you can get off of Amazon. I've got one that I created and I'll link to it below if you want to buy my journal It's uh, only 20 bucks and it has more than what some of the other password journals have where they just have a spot to put the username and password I'm also tracking when was it last updated and what's your two-factor authentication method so this is an Excel sheet that is another way that people will want to store the passwords and I've seen them use it in Word documents as well but Excel just seems to fit things a little better because you have columns and rows so we don't want anyone to be able to just open this because if somebody hacked into your computer and transferred their file or your file with all your passwords over to their computer then they can just open it and see everything not only do we want to password protect this but we want to encrypt it as well so make sure you stick around to the end and i'm going to show you how to encrypt this so we'll go up to file you want to choose save as and then browse you'll have your file there if it's already saved but what we want to do is go down to tools and choose general options this is where you can choose a password to open. So we'll just put in a, a password here and I would recommend putting in a long password. I'm going to hit OK and then it asks me to type it in again. Now I can hit save and because the file already exists it wants to replace it so yep. Now it's password protected so let's try it out. Here's my file. When I go to open it, it asks me to type in the password. Once I get the password correct, now it displays the information. But that's just the password. So if somebody had this, they could still hammer away at that and hack the password eventually, right? Because every password is hackable. So we'll close that. What you want to do here is we're going to encrypt this file as well. And that basically means that if someone did steal the file, they wouldn't even be able to open it and get prompted to put the password in unless they had your encryption key to decrypt the file with. Now this is assuming you already have encryption set up and if you don't then I'll have another video that I'm going to put together to show you how to set up file encryption. So with the encryption already set up we just right click on the file and go to properties. You want to go to advanced and here is a checkbox you want to turn on to encrypt the contents to secure the data. We'll hit OK, apply that, and it asks you do you want to encrypt the files in its parent folder? I don't really want to do that. I just want to encrypt this file and I'm going to hit OK and OK. So you can see that there's a lock now on the icon meaning that this file is encrypted. So if somebody even sat down at my computer when I wasn't looking, then they could copy that file, paste it onto a USB stick, it, take it to their computer, and then try and open it. But they wouldn't even be prompted for the password because it's encrypted. So if I double click on it to open it, I just get prompted for the password because I've got the encryption key on my computer so I can open it. But on another computer, you would have to install that encryption key and then you'd be able to open it and get prompted for the password, which once you get the password correct, you can now open the file. So that's it for how to encrypt and password protect a file. 
And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.